Today is all about control. We're controlling a human body. This is legit. Everything wrestling is comes from somewhere that is legit. It's a legitimate sport. And that's the problem with today is you watch wrestling, you think, oh, that's all nonsense. It's all fake. It's all BS. Well, yeah, it is BS because uh, unfortunately, the people that started this great business and made it what it is up until this point actually put some damn effort into what they were doing and they were legit tough guys. And they're tough for a reason. This is like, uh, a, a, do your history. All I'm saying is do your history. If you look at the history of professional wrestling, you'll know that guys didn't just take gymnastics. They were, tar they were hard, tough, like bite nail type men. They're tough dudes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the hooks. Sometimes they use hooks, and these are the kind of things that they would do to beat people up and submit them real quick, because they didn't want to get into real long altercations. So, um, look up your history. If you want to learn the sport, you gotta learn from the basics. So, today is gonna be a Japanese handcuff, it's called, or a come along. I call it a come along. Some people call it a Japanese handcuff. Um, so, uh, just or whatever your preference is, it's the same thing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in for a lockup. Boom. Today, we're gonna go over the top. Now, a lot of times I catch with the armpit and I go over the other way. You don't always have to do that. That's ridiculous to always go with the same motions. You don't have to. What we're gonna do is brush that away as we choke up and grab that wrist. Once we get that, our elbow is gonna go over the top of his elbow as we step real big. We're gonna step real big with our right leg because we got full control. See, I got his body. I got him fully controlled here. If you want both hands on it, it's fine. But the idea is like, Tyson, you're not using both hands. You got a body on it, people. There's a difference. Right in there, though, our left hand is going to grab his wrist over the top position. And what we're going to do is slip that right hand in. Now, as we step that right foot back, this is footing, people. This is where we learn about our feet. We pull at the bicep. Boom! Once we pull at the bicep, wham, we grab that hand. Now we're in a good position. We're in a come along position, as they call it. So you can either drive it down. We can take him over, which we'll go over later, or he can actually pick it up so people can see. It doesn't matter because he's coming with you. Bouncers use this at the bar. Come along, sir. It's time to leave. So let's go over it a little bit at a half pace. So we're gonna lock up. Boom, brush away, elbow over the top. Big step, turn that bicep in, and then bang. I got him. Come along. Come with me, sir. It's time to leave. We're doing this all the time. I want you to get better. I want to see these on shows. I don't want to see a backflip when you can actually grab a man and move him around. This is what wrestling is. Professional wrestling is the sport uh, or the idea of wrestling. Man, imagine that. Blow your mind. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. We're doing this the whole two months. We're doing this two months long and we're going strong. All right.